You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an altar exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. Oh, for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. They said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Your patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Psst. Hey! Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely. I know a way out. Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blowing the fuck up. You need me. The hell I do, I got the sights. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? How long do you think you've been out? Oh, I don't know, mate. Two to three weeks. Look, I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. All right, let's get out of here. That's the row? It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ulter got involved. The clothing coming? After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ulter picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ulter is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. We're gonna find the other Saints. Huh. What other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Oh, well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime. assassination attempt against then-decorated police officer Troy Bradshaw. In the resulting trial, Gatt was convicted of one count of attempted murder and a staggering 387 counts of first-degree murder, promptly sending him to death row. Hey, Barry, turn this shit off! Yeah, I was watching that. I guess you're not anymore, are you, bitch? Could you turn the TV back? In a few short moments, we'll be allowed back in the courtroom and we'll find out, once and for all, if Mr. Gat will go home a happy man or a dead one. Back to you, Jack. Oh, shit. Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder! Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? 
You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I'd give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? Well, come on in. You want a beer? Yeah, that'd be great. Johnny, who's that? Yo, come to the living room and find out. Johnny, I don't care if you just broke out of jail. You do not mess with my furniture. Oh my god, it's you. Surprised, Aisha. What, that you're here or that you're talking? Pick one. We all thought you were dead. I almost was. Well, for someone who was blown to hell, you look great. <laughs> Did you do something with your hair? Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Yo, can we get back to business? What's the rush? I've been cooped up on death row and that bitch has been laid out in a coma. Hmm. We definitely need to remind motherfuckers who we are. And that can't wait until after dinner? No. <laughs> you two haven't changed at all. Well, you know, there's a saying about dogs and blowing shit up. <laughs> so what's the plan? We get our crew together. Once we got that, we can work on how we're taking back our city. Sounds good. And where were you planning on having this little meeting? No. Well, this place is pretty spacious. No. The color's very soothing. No. Come on, Ish. This ain't no fucking gang clubhouse. Change of plans. We gotta find a new place. Yeah, you got it. So. What you think? It's kind of a shithole. True that. But it's a shithole with potential. I don't know, mate. Oh, come on. A stripper pole, some flat screens, maybe some nicer furniture? You have me at stripper pole. Fucking A. You know, this ain't exactly what I had in mind for my day. Oh, we gotta clean this place out. Yo, I'm not a fucking janitor. No shit, you're a goddamn diva. Come on, this is the kind of shit people who just got canonized should have to do. Good idea. We'll just ask some of the crew for help. Hey, buddy, wanna help? No? Looks like we're doing this ourselves. That's my point. We can't really run a gang if we don't have, you know, a fucking gang. You said it yourself. Most of the old crew are either dead or busted by Troy. We're gonna have to start fresh. Yeah, well, let's get on that, cause I'm done mopping up blood. This kid Carlos helped me bust out. Seems alright, but we're gonna need more. What you thinking? Yo, I met some people in jail who might work. Let me make some calls. Once I find out where these bitches are, you're gonna have to show them that you're the real deal, though. They won't just follow anybody. It won't be a problem. Hey, before you go, what sort of crew are you looking for? What the hell is going on? I had to do some canonizing. Hold up. You. You're next. Wait, what? Sorry about that. Where'd you find these guys? Like I said, I made some calls. You guys actually hang out down here? I don't know. Add a flat screen, some throw pillows, and a hookah, and this place would be all right. You definitely need a stripper pole in this bitch. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what do we do now? We listen. All right, everybody listen up. We got some serious shit to discuss. The Saints used to own Stillwater. And it seems like the only motherfuckers that remember that is me and Gat. I think it's time we give those other crews a wake-up call.
Now I ain't gonna lie, a lot of shit's changed since I've been out of the game. So I'm gonna need some help. Pierce, you're on the Ronin. I wanna know who's calling the shots and what businesses they're running. Done. Shondi, you got the sons of Sondi. It's gotta be them. Fuck you, say. It's cool. I, I got this. Carlos. The Brotherhood. I'm on it. Alright. Once we're done here, talk to one of these guys. They'll have something for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. You, Mero? That's right. Where's your crew, then? I don't need one. You sure about that? I could kill you right now. No, you couldn't. What do you want? Listen, I'm not stupid. I know who you are. Now, there's no reason for us to tear each other apart. I'm listening. Here's what I'm thinking. We divide still. I hear voices this way! So here we are. Jesus, it's like a coked up sideshow. Pretty impressive, huh? Aren't you worried about being in the open? People know to stay away. How's my truck coming? It'll be ready for the competition. Thanks, Donnie. You know that guy? Lighter. You're back! Come on. You expected anything less? Hi, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Carlos. I'm still Jessica. <laughs> you know, you remind me of my old house cleaner. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was kidding! Babe, you want to count the cash? Sure. Yo, Matt, you ready to work? Hey. Aren't you the guitarist for the Feed Dogs? Don't encourage him. Listen, lady, you guys met at one of my concerts, so I don't want to hear it. Don't you think you have enough tattoos? Brother, I got a lot of canvas left. So let's get back to business. The Brotherhood is about to come into something big, and I think the Saints are going to want to get in on the ground floor. So what's the offer? 2080. I'm assuming I get the 80. Yeah, sure you do. You really expect me to take 20 and say thanks? On your hands and fucking knees. Is this a joke? I used to own still. Used to is right. Time's passed you by. Now you're a has-been with some burn scars. I suggest you shut the fuck up before- You're kidding me, right? Hey man, be cool. You really think that a couple of washed up bangers like you and Gat have a chance against the Brotherhood? We'll see. Let's go, Carlos. Honey, you want me to have someone take care of them? No. Nah, they'll be dead soon enough. Lynn, I... Um, I miss you. Oh, that's sweet, Donny. I missed you too. Oh, shit. You haven't seen me since your boss shot and staffed me in the trunk of a car, and the best you can give me is, oh shit. You're supposed to be dead. That'll work. Now walk to the car. How'd you know I'd be here? You're predictable. What do you want with me? You're gonna do some pro bono mechanic work. What do you mean, pro bono work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm through answering questions, now get in the car. Babe, just let it go. Who the fuck do the Saints think they are turning me down? Sweetie, it's not a big deal. Just kill them. Hey, Donnie, where have you- Meryl! I'm so sorry! What did you do, Donnie? 
it's the Saints! Th they- What did you do, Donnie? They made me rig up some of our boys' trucks and- And you did it? I, I didn't have a choice. You had a choice, Donnie. You chose your life over the rest of us. I had a gun to my head, man. What was I supposed to do? Have a spine. I didn't say anything about the shipment. Well, that makes it all better. Bro, you should be pissed at that asshole running the Saints, not Donnie. I didn't ask your opinion, Matt. Mero, who's gonna fix my car? Why are we meeting on the L? I wanted to get out of the goddamn sewer. Why are you looking away? In case you're, you know, being followed. This isn't a goddamn spy movie, Carlos. Can you turn around? What you got for me? Nothing. Are you shitting me? Listen, I tried everything I could. What was I supposed to do? Try harder. After that shit you pulled with Donnie, the Brotherhood are keeping a tight lid on what they got cooking. I've heard one guy mention a shipment, but beyond that, it looks like we're back to square one. Which is? We know they like trucks and tattoos. You were on my shortlist and you're giving me tattoos and trucks. And the shipment. Which you know nothing about. Carlos, I like you, I do. But you got a lot to learn about being a lieutenant. I wish I had more to give you. Believe me, so do I. But fuck it, we'll figure out something. What is it? I think I've got an idea. There, I say you've got a lot of canvas left. I'm gonna splatter paint all over it. Carlos, don't worry. I'm gonna make a banger out of you if it kills me. Bro, you are gonna look like a bad motherfucker. That's good. Because I was beginning to think I looked like an investment banker. I'm glad you two are having fun, because God forbid we do something about the Saints. I'm gonna take care of them, babe. Sure you are. You think I'm afraid? No, she doesn't, Mero. Now can you stay cool? I'm almost done. I think you should stick to tattooing and drop the guitar. Whatever. The feed dogs fucking rock. Baby? Carlos, where the fuck are you? I think your people skills need some work, sweetie. Jessica, how'd you like Mero's new tattoo? Actually, I think it's pretty sexy. Rugged, tough. Radioactive. That's cute. I try. Now what the fuck do you want? Well, I just wanted to let you know that since you were nice enough to give my man a makeover, I should return the favor. Don't worry, by the time we're through with him, Carlos will look just as handsome as Mara. Listen up, you fucking bitch! Of course, I don't have access to the same materials you did, but you know, I'm I figure we can make do. When I find you... I mean, I'm sure you'll do something scary. Do me a favor, when you're scraping up your buddy's face, just remember, Mero gave you a chance to be his partner. Sorry. No problem, I got it. Watch out! Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ! 
Christ, are you trying to get killed? Look, I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. Sorry about that, baby. I almost been in my car on a hippie chick. Hey, I'm not a hippie. Marrow, I'm fine. Look, I gotta go. I'm about to make the deposit. Sweetie, let me worry about the money. We'll have enough to cover the shipment, and once that comes in, the Saints won't have a chance in hell. Yo, Shandy, we're gonna hack or what? Hey, boss. Shandy, I'm watching Bobby and Ann back anyway. Not really. What's up? Mero's girlfriend just walked into the bank with a suitcase full of money. I'll be right over. Please let me out of here! <laughs> Do me a favor. When you check the trunk, just remember you should have offered me something better than 20%. I think you're being too hard on yourself. Yeah, that car crushing thing was pretty tight. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of my work. It's just. I got so wrapped up in sending Mero a message, I never asked Jessica about the shipment. Bitch is dead. Who cares about the shipment? I do. It's something that Mero wants, and that means I'm gonna take it. Alright, there's gotta be someone you can pump for information. What about Donnie? He got manhandled twice. Pretty sure he's out of the loop, if not dead. Hey, what about their tattoo? What about their tattoo artist? Good idea. What? What just happened? Shandy had a good idea. Man, what the fuck ever? She stole my- Don't be jealous, Pierce. We're all on the same team. You said before that this guy's in a band called the Feed Dogs, right? Yeah. They're playing tonight. Shouldn't be too hard to crash the show. Nice call, Shandy. about don't fuck with me Matt you got a lot of gear on this stage I haven't played with yet you gotta believe me I just tattooed the gang they don't fill me in on what they're doing all that time you winked out Mero and you never heard him talk about a shipment with Jessica all I heard is that it's coming in by boat they leave me out of the loop on purpose they were trying to keep me from getting mixed up in their shit your friends should have tried harder Come on, I told you everything I know! Enjoy your retirement, Matt. <laughs> hey, Shandy. Huh? You know anyone that works at the docks? Not really. Looks like you get to make some new friends. Mera's got a shipment coming in by boat, and I want to get it before he does. Okay, I'll take care of it. I've been looking all over for you. We got a serious... Damn, those are some nice shoes. You wanna sit down? Yeah. No, we, we got a problem. What's up? The Brotherhood are all over our turf. What do you mean, all over? I mean, those assholes are driving around in some big-ass trucks blowing shit up. Great. You got the boys out there taking care of this? Yeah, about that. You're not filling me with confidence, Pierce. What happened? Well, they kinda got arrested by the cops. Fuck you, sir. You got a bunch of big tattooed motherfuckers running around, burning shit, and you're surprised the cops show up? This just keeps getting better. Mr. 
Vogel, there's a Mr. Marrow here to see you. Jamie, I'm trying to downsize here. Um, Mr. Vogel, I'm not sure I'm adequately conveying Mr. Marrow's size. Get him out of here! <laughs> or send him in. Wow. Thanks, Jamie. You must be Mr. Marrow. I've heard about the connections Altor has. You're gonna get my boys out of jail and help me destroy the Saints. Your bargaining posture needs some work. The Saints killed my girlfriend and crippled my best friend. And that's unfortunate, but Altor is a business and there's no profit in revenge. Don't worry about the door, though. That one's on me. Fine. You want money? In a few days, a shipment's coming in- Mr. Marrow, nebulous shipment or not, I think I made myself quite- <laughs> Let's try this again. You're gonna help me destroy the saints. And Old Tor would love to be of service. Good. Stillwater Police Department. I need to talk to Troy Bradshaw. Who should I say? Do it! Chief, there's a Mr. Vogel on the line. Put him through. Hello, Troy. Yeah, what do you want, Vogel? It's not what I want, it's what I need. Which is? You are going to release all the Brotherhood you have locked up. And why the fuck would I do that? I'm looking after my clients. Your, uh, clients are a bunch of criminals. Guilty before a trial. Nice. Is that the kind of mentality you like to instill in your subordinates? Huh. <laughs> Spare me. Alright, they're not getting released, and that's that. This is where we're going to have to agree to disagree. These men are going free. The only question is if you let this be settled quietly, or if you want a media circus that will make you look like a joke. I thought Altor wanted order. Okay, letting these assholes out is going to only make things worse. Troy, in order to maintain the ecosystem, sometimes the rangers need to start forest fires. You should know that better than anybody. I suspect I'll hear from you soon. In a surprising turn of events, several members of the Brotherhood are being released today. A previously thought open-shut case turned into a fierce legal battle as several high-power attorneys fought tooth and nail for their client's freedom. Curious about the court proceedings, I spoke to Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. My personal opinion on the trial doesn't really matter. They were found innocent by a jury of their peers. So you think they were guilty? I'm sorry, Jane. Listen, I have to get back to work. Hey, why don't you try talking to Dane Vogel? Mr. Vogel, what's Altor's interest in the trial? Altor has no interest in the trial other than to see criminals get put behind bars. So there is no truth to the speculation that the Brotherhood's lawyers are in Altor's pocket? Jane, we've donated millions of dollars to the Stillwater PD as well as rebuilt the shattered community of Saints Row. I understand that everyone likes to pick on the big corporations, but this latest groundless attack on Altor's integrity is just ridiculous. Behind me, the men and women loading up onto these buses are being given another chance at freedom. But the question remains, are we also giving them another chance at a life of crime? I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Back to you, Jack. Mr. Vogel, Mr. <laughs> see you. Thanks for the heads up, Jamie. Is there something I can help you with? They hit my boys when they were on the prison bus. Between your girlfriend and your gang, I'd say you're a magnet for tragedy, Marrow. You think this is fucking funny? No, but I do think it's your problem. My problems are your problems. Or do you need some fresh air to remind you? No. See, my problem is that a sideshow freak is messing up my paperwork. Your problem is that there's a group of security guards with assault rifles pointed at your back. Your security guards look more like a private army. Call them whatever you want. The point is, they have big guns. I'm sorry you couldn't protect your friends. I really am, but old Tor's done doing you favors. Come back here again, and I'll have you shot on sight. Go fuck yourself, Vogel. I've enjoyed our time together, too, but I think it's time to move on. Gentlemen, could you please show our guest out? And Mero! Don't worry about your little shipment. Altor has already appropriated it. What did you say? Altor security is taking control of the boat carrying your goods. It only seemed fair that we get compensated for letting your boys out of jail. 
You can go now. That boat is never gonna make it to shore. Goodbye, Mero. Tell me you didn't pick this place just so you could play that stupid game. No, I picked this place so we could play this stupid game. This gang shit's got you a little stressed out. You need to relax. By playing skee-ball. Oh, yeah. You know, most people just smoke pot. Right. And then they go play skee-ball. Fuck it. So you hit the docks like I asked. Wait, what? Off the Feed Dogs concert, I called you to look into the docks and you said- Look, I gotta be honest, I was really stoned. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I totally am. One of the dock workers just called and said this big guy with tattoos and a scarred face was shaking people down trying to find out when some shipment was rescheduled to arrive. Why would Mero need to ask about the time of his own shipment? I don't know, maybe it got delayed. And you're sure this big guy with tattoos is Mero, not just some biker guy? I'd bet my life on it. Deal. Wait, hold up. What do you mean, deal? What's up? Are you okay? I'm fine. What's up? I was listening in on the police scanner, and the Coast Guard is reporting a lot of Brotherhood are coming towards you. You sure? Oh, I'm fine, Shondi. Suddenly I'm not so worried about the Brotherhood. I'm glad you all seem to like the new hardware the Brotherhood decided to hook us up with. You know, up until this point, we've been toying with Mero. Kill his bitch here, steal his money there. But I'm through playing. We know where he lives, we have his guns, and I say it's time we take that motherfucker out. What do you think? Stop. Do you think it's over? <laughs> Your little buddy screamed like a bitch when we trust him up. How about you, bitch? You gonna scream? <laughs> I'm surprised you have the balls to come alone. I never said I'd be alone.
Last words. Go to hell. Sorry, didn't catch that. What's up with the dollhouse? Dollhouse my ass. This is how we gonna fuck up the Ronin. This'll be good. Psst, trust me, it is. The Ronin have a stake in Poseidon's palace. So I figure hitting their biggest money maker is a good way to show them we not fucking around. Okay, so what's the plan? You and I enter the casino here. Once inside, we need to distract this security guard. I was thinking you could catch me cheating or some shit like that. Anyway, while the guard's concerned with throwing me out, Gatto sneak in through this security door. Don't worry, I already got today's passcode from the blackjack dealer Shandy's fucking. Now once inside, Gatto had to sneak past the guards to cut the power. And when that happens, we only have about 45 seconds before the backup generator turns on. During the blackout, yo, 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 though... Yo, hold up, man. I mean, I love the dream house you built here and everything. But what if we just start here, walk into the casino, and just shoot all the motherfuckers that are between us and the money? Well, you know... It will be a lot faster. And a lot more fun. Yeah, but... Fuck it, let's go. Good call, Johnny. This <laughs> Junichi, you need to relax. My father won't find out about the casino. Don't question me, Junichi. And we're in America. Speak English. Forgive me, Shogo. A little jumpy today? Over there. Sword. Listen, Junichi. I know you're having a hard time adjusting to the way I run things here. But how about you let me deal with my father, and you deal with whatever the fuck I tell you to deal with? Of course, Shogo. Excellent. Why is there a big pile of money on the coffee table? It's a little complicated. We shot up a Ronin casino and stole the cash. And you brought that shit here? Ish. Who else we gonna trust with the money? But the Ronin know you stole it, right? Well, they wouldn't have if we would've went with my plan. Yeah, well, if we went with your plan, we'd still be talking about it. Fuck off, Gat. Excuse me? Shut up! We're on. The casino heist has left the police baffled. Standing next to me is Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. Chief, how's the investigation going? This is an investigation, Miss Valderrama. I can't get into details. Can you say anything about the Third Street Saints' involvement? I don't know what you're talking about. This leaked security footage shows the leader of the Saints, recent fugitive and Saint Lieutenant Johnny Gatt, as well as an unknown accomplice assaulting the casino. Obviously, the Third Street Saints are back after a long hiatus. Ah, all right! Woo! Oh, God. Unknown accomplice, my ass! Miss Valder also, reports claim that Altor is pressing the police department for a quicker response. One of Altor's investments was robbed. Of course they want their money back. All right, all right, we've had our 15 minutes. Let's clean this money. What's going on? Shogo is explaining her failure to his father. Mr. Akuchi doesn't sound happy. That's because his son has brought him much shame. Akuchi-san is coming to America to teach Shogo how to lead. Is that good or bad? That depends on who you are. We need the saints taken care of before my father arrives. What would you have me do? What do you think I want you to do? Get some of our boys and kill them! Where's Johnny? Oh, I sent him out to the store. He should be back. Who the hell is that? Yo, that's our new house guest, baby. I caught this asshole riding around our turf. Got something you want to tell me? Go to hell. That wasn't very nice. Johnny, I just bought that table! Sorry about that. Why the fuck are you here? Whatever you do to me is nothing compared to what Mr. Akuchi will do to you. The oil boon? No shit. When's he coming? 
I'll die before I tell you. Yep. Johnny! It'll wash out. It better. What the fuck's in a Kuji? Kazuo Kuji's the father of Shogo Kuji. The asshole's running the Ronin. Okay, so who cares? This guy's a fucking boogeyman. When I was in jail, I would listen to some of the Ronin talk about what this guy did in Japan. It's not pretty. You think he's all talk? I don't know, but I'm looking forward to finding out. <clears throat> you cool taking out those fuckers by yourself? I gotta clean up around the house. No problem, man. I got this. Dane, don't worry. I'll get the money back. You're missing the point, Shogo. The money was insured. I'm more concerned about you. What? Ultor and the Ronin have had a very healthy relationship in the past, but lately, well, when I pay protection money, I expect some fucking protection. Watch yourself, Vogel. The Saints are a concern, Shogo. Not for long. Why's that? I've got my best man working on that now. Moshi Moshi. Speak English. What is it, Shogo? I'm in a meeting with Dane Vogel. He wants assurances that the state... Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Like always. I don't take much pleasure in this. Then let me go. That depends on you. Aisha doesn't care that I'm stopping by, does she? Fuck no. Aisha doesn't go out much. She loves company. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? If you're calm, help us find the money and do what I say. I give you my word you will live. Ish, you home? Get out of the way! Johnny, you're gonna be fine. <sighs> Gotta save each. Look out, coming through! Pierce, listen up. Johnny got laid out by one of the Ronin. That mean I get a promotion? Don't get too excited, asshole. Gad will be back up in no time. E yo, that came out wrong. Just shut up and listen. Gat was uh. looking into a Japanese crime okay. boss called Akuji. This guy's coming to town soon and I wanna know when. Got it. Don't fuck this up, Pierce. I'm not in a good mood. I got the passenger manifest. Thanks. I'm not Shandy, so I had to, you know, do actual work to get that. What, you bribe someone? Why you gotta be an asshole?
Kuji bought every first class seat on the plane. Looks like he's traveling with friends. That'll make killing him a lot more interesting. Well, if you want to welcome him to America, you better hurry. His plane's gonna land soon. Shogo san des. Yatsu to hanashi o suru koto wa nai. Hello? What happened, Junichi? What happened is that you left your father to die. I didn't ask for your opinion, Junichi. What happened? I went to the airport to save Karakuji san's rifle. Once I saw the leader of the Saints making a move towards the terminal, I made my way to the plane so I could evacuate your father. His entourage willingly gave their lives to ensure his safety. Let me speak to him. No. What? Your father made it quite clear he doesn't wish to speak to you. Anything you have to say to him will go through me. You ungrateful little- Sayonara. All I'm saying is that we don't know how long Gad is going to be laid out. And you're willing to make a noble sacrifice and take his place. Someone's got to step up. Trust me, Gat will be up and running in no time. And if he's not? Then we have bigger problems. Sup? How badly do you want the man who hurt Johnny Gat? Who is this? Junichi will be at Kanto tonight. This is our chance for revenge. <laughs> our chance? Who the fuck are you? Where are you going? I'm taking out the son of a bitch that killed Aisha. Is everything okay, Father? He's dead, Shogo. Junichi is dead. And all I'm left with is you. Is that so bad? It's worse than you could ever imagine. Father, I... Leave me in peace, Shogo. I'll make you proud, Father. I'll finish what Junichi started. I'll kill Gad. I'll... Do whatever you want, Shogo. Just do it away from me. So the bastard's dead? I cut him up myself. Hello? How can I help you? Excuse me. You can't go that way. Hello, security? How you doing? She's dead. You really gotta ask. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to ask you to return to the waiting room. Funeral? We're waiting for you. Cut it. How long till you're back? Doc said I should be up and murdering in a couple of days. Well, you know, he didn't say murdering, but you get the idea. Time to leave. Fuck yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Akuji. Shall we get down to business? You should care because I represent a multi-billion dollar corporation that employs your son. Now can we sit down? With the recent change in management, I figured it would be a good idea to touch base. We at Old Tor understand that when working with the Ronin, there's bound to be some collateral damage. However, turning a hospital into a charnel house is something that even I can't spend. You need to keep your men under control. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. You're quite astute, Mr. Akuji. I'm not a twenty-something who is impressed by a power tie, Mr. Vogel. I suggest you stop trying to bully me. Mr. Akuji, your son and I negotiated a very reasonable contract. 
My son's an idiot, Mr. Vogel. If you wish for the Ronin's protection, you had best be prepared to offer us something much more substantial. That's not going to happen. Then our business is concluded. Mr. Okuji, I can't possibly stress how unwise this could- Be silent. You can show yourself out now. Well, I guess that's that. Best of luck, gentlemen. This is a hell of a place you got here. I mean, it's a good thing I had my tetanus shot, but beyond that, it's, uh, cozy. Do I know you? Name's Dane Vogel, who works for Altor. I remember he swung by the church and offered Dex a job a while back. You're shitting me. Who's Dex? Dex was a man who had higher aspirations than being a thug. You can't blame him for moving on up. He was a fucking sellout. You call him a sellout, I call him a millionaire. What do you want? I want to help you. If I need any Altor Unlimited sunglasses, I'll steal them. So you're familiar with our products? Fuck off, Vogel. Do you want our help or not? Maybe. Yes. No. Well, this is a well-oiled machine. What do you got? We've recently severed our ties with the Ronin. Oh, you're breaking my heart. I know where the Akujis lay their heads. I doubt any of your lieutenants have that information. I don't know. Sean just fucked a lot of guys. Gat's talking sense. How do we know he's not a trap? That part's easy. I'll wait for you here. If you don't make it back, one of your boys can take me out. Yo, why don't we just cut the waiting part? I think the waiting part is very important. Gat, you're with me. Pierce, you're babysitting Vogel. You sure you don't want me to take out this asshole now? Save the bullet for a Kuji. Yo, it been gone a long time. Maybe I should... You really shouldn't. It's all right, Pierce. He led us right to him. Get out of here, Vogel. You've been a gracious host. How come you went to the Ronin and not us? You were in a coma and we couldn't find Julius. Timing is everything. I had no idea how far my shame could extend. Don't worry, Father. I'll fix this. No, you won't, Shogo. You'll continue to disappoint me. Eternal rest, Grandmother Grolor. May perpetual light shine on her. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace. You two have humiliated my family for the last time! Leave, little boy. Look at me when I'm talking to you! Fuck off, Akuji. I'm not killing anyone at Isha's funeral. Tonight, tomorrow, you name a time and I will gladly fuck you up. But not now. How noble. Nobility is sorely overrated. Where are you taking me? Let me go! Get up. Not so fun when you're fighting someone who isn't tied to a chair, is it? I didn't kill her! You ordered it. I'm sorry. Well, that brings her back, doesn't it? You couldn't even let her have a burial, you fucking piece of shit. No, please. Fucker's still screaming. Oh, I'm pretty sure Shagai's dead by now. Back in dream, right? Oh, God! Jesus! I wanted to I bumped into.
to an old buddy of yours who was looking for you. Who is it? You can see for yourself in a few minutes. You brought him here? How do you know this arsehole isn't trying to kill me? Please. I would never kill my favorite assassin. Mr. Wong. This guy used to have me running around killing guys in hot dog suits. I'm quite pleased to hear about your survival. I'm here to give you my thanks for killing Kazuo Akuji's son. You know Akuji? Akuji and I have a long history. I have also had several unpleasant dealings with his son. What did Shogo do? When he was younger, he killed Mr. Wong's dog. You fucking kidding me? I do not joke about Sadie. If you guys got some time, we can... Is that? Were you followed? Shit, I don't know. He was fucking followed. You aren't gonna believe this! Bunch of Ronin goons are coming this way? Well, yeah. You ready for this, Wong? Whoa. I have not killed a man in quite some time. But Akuji won't stop here. I know. We gotta lock our shit down. When the Ronin come back at us, I wanna be ready. You don't need to follow me like a child. The boss asked me to make sure the Ronin don't crash your party. And that's what I'm gonna do. Wong. for the merciful deaths you and your rabble are receiving. It's nothing compared to what I will do to the saints when I'm through here. You talk too much. You got good timing. Mr. Wong needs your help. What's wrong? The Ronin have attacked the Heritage Festival. Mr. Wong won't last against Akuji. Where's Gat? He ran off to fight the Ronin as they approached. Sit tight. I'm on my way. Did you really think you could match my skill? No. I'm gonna cheat. Finish it. Put Wong on a phone. Hey Wong, I want you to hear something. Come on, be a good sport. You hear that Wong? You're welcome. Thanks. When I escape, the world will not be big enough for you to hide in. Luckily for me, you're gonna burn to death in a few minutes. Your son never should have fucked with my friends. Hey, I got you a present. 
A light bulb. Just what I always wanted. Come on, you think I'd just give you a light bulb? A face shredder. Just what I always wanted. Smoke this. Ever hear of a pipe? Pipes cost money. Money that can be used for drugs or shoes. What is it? It's the Sons of Samdi's number one product. They call it Loa Dust. But you smoke it. They suck at marketing, what can I say? The point is that this shit is all over campus. I mean, frats are buying it by the pound. If we get enough of the stuff, we might find out how to make it ourselves. And then we sell it for cheaper and steal their market. Exactly. How much stuff are we talking? I don't know, three pounds? Two for science, one for the weekend? I can live with that. Gentlemen, how was business today? Here's today's take. There are many singles where 50 should be. Yeah, about that. I couldn't get a hold of some of my guys. These men steal from the general? No, I I'm not saying they're stealing. Yo, Papa Shango. I'm talking to the general. On the streets, you may be a popular DJ veteran child. But when you're in this car, you do well to remember your place. My place? My friends, please be civil. Veteran child, look into the matter of the missing money. If one of your bag boys is indeed alive, take one of his hands. I doubt he will be late again. If he is not alive, I think we have a greater problem. You want me to cut off some dude's hand? If he stole from me, he needs to learn. Yeah, that makes, uh, sense. Is there a problem? No! I mean, it's no problem. I got this. Hey, what's up? I can't believe what they've done here. It's pretty classy, huh? Whatever. A strip club named T&A, that was classy. This shit's just tacky. So, did you find out what was in that lower dust shit? Science is hard. Anyway, like I was saying, I can't work it out, but I know someone who can. Who? It's a woman I met in prison. She knows more about this shit than I ever will. There's only one... What's the problem? She's still in prison. Great. Don't worry about it. I know how you're gonna break in. Samson, get over here. Hey, Shandy, I rigged up that bomb you want. Oh. Um, you should probably hurry. I still can't get over that it's you. This is so exciting! So you're sure you can figure out what's in the sun stuff? Don't worry, sweetie. When it comes to drugs or snickerdoodles, I'm the best. Ain't that the truth, baby? Toby! Thanks for bringing my pumpkin muffin back. You need anything? You let me know. Oh, I already talked to Laura about that. In that case, you mind giving me and the wife some quality time? I'd like to have a belated conjugal before the PTA meeting. Not at all. Hello! Glad you could make it. You know, a nice robin egg blue would really spruce this place up. I was thinking more of an avocado. Ooh! Hey, can we, you know... Talk about the lower dust already? Right. Sorry. That stuff is very sophisticated. I won't bore you with all the details, like acetone and trichlorothane, but there is definitely some very good pot in there. As long as we can make the shit that could have embalming fluid in it, for all I care. Making it won't be a problem. I'll give the recipe to Shondi. Now all we gotta do is stop those fuckers from producing anymore. Well, seeing as they're turning out so much product, they'd need a... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. What's up? I... In college, I dated this guy who would sell for the Suns, and he mentioned that they used to grow all their shit on a farm off campus. And this is coming up for the first time. Why? I forgot. You're right. You are an idiot. Hey! Thanks for your help, Laura. Where are you going? I've got a farm to burn down. We can't just charge into that place. You don't have to. What do you mean? Tobias is outside in the car. He's got a pilot's license. Why don't you just have him fly you over the farm? 
You gotta be kidding me. Does it look like I'm joking? Everybody, get out! Perhaps they did not understand you. What's, uh, what's up, guys? The saints raised my farm. That's, uh, that's some shitty luck. A helicopter-mounted machine gun has nothing to do with luck. Well, how... Yo, can you cut that shit out? You're freaking me out. How did they find out about the farm? Why don't you tell me? I don't know what... Stop lying. Dude, I said I don't... And he said, stop lying. I'm telling you the truth, man. I don't know how they found out. Then you are not very useful, are you? I don't know how they found out, but I got some ideas. Enlighten me. Uh, I used to dig this bitch Shandy, and there's a chance, I mean a small fucking chance, that I might have gotten stoned and told her about the farm. Where is this Shandy? Word is she rolls with the saints now. <laughs> Let him go. Veteran child, you will go kill this zombie. If you fail to do this, Mr. Sunshine will burn you alive. Does this sound fair? Uh... Excellent. Let's be on our way. Nice place you got here, Shandy. What are you doing here? I've been watching this place. I know you're here alone. Not for long, I'm not, so you better get the- Don't make this difficult. BITCH! Back off! Back the fuck off! You think you're walking out of here? Unless you want a bullet in this bitch, you're goddamn right I am. Kid, you just made a stupid- <laughs> You know who I am! Seeing as I'm gonna kill you in a few seconds, I don't really give a shit. Keep your distance! Shondi, you okay? My ex-boyfriend's a dick. Pretty much, yeah. I can't believe you got your ass kicked by that chump. Did I mention that my ex-boyfriend's a dick? You should go home and rest. If by resting you mean smoking an ounce, then hell yeah. What's going on? Beer bomb! No shit! I mean, why are we at a rap party? If I can drink free, I'll meet anywhere. Said he got some dirt for us. I thought I killed your ex. Different ex. Now come on. What's up, Shandy? Hey, Blake. What you got for me? Why, widow? I was talking about the info you called me about, but pass the piece. Earlier today, I went to Shivington to find party favors for tonight. While I was buying, I noticed some Samdi wheeling in a bunch of chemicals into a building. You sure? I know a drug lab when I see one. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up some dust labs. You wanna come? Eh, you go have fun. I think I'll stay here. Suit yourself. What are you thinking, my friend? It's beautiful. And expensive. More money will come. You had best be right. Between the farm and this fire, we cannot afford to have anything go wrong with our next shipment. Don't worry, General. The shipment will be safe. These saints are proving themselves to be quite the nuisance. Then perhaps it's time we speak to their leader. Where am I? 
you are sitting with your betters, my friend. I wanted to see the face of the individual who had caused me so much trouble. So far, I find the experience to be underwhelming. Who the fuck are you? I am the man whose property you stole and destroyed. Oops. <laughs> you needn't dwell on your mistakes. You will not live to learn from them. That's so. I'm afraid it is. Who the fuck are you? They call me Mr. Sunshine. Well, listen, Sunshine. I don't care how fucked up your face is. I ain't scared of you or that other arsehole. Pity. Gentlemen, I'm through meeting with my adversary. If you please, uh, dispose of this trash. Of course, General. <laughs> You're a general? Hey, you hear that? That arsehole? <laughs> he thinks he's a- oh, SHIT! <laughs> this is a bad time to be fucked up. How you feeling? Comfortable. And very hungry. You need help standing up? No. I'm good here. You sure? Oh, yeah. You know, there could be some more guys looking for you. Uh, you could take them, right? Probably not. Yeah. That's, that's good. Fucking lightweights. I can't take all this sitting around. When you gonna let me come out and do some dirt with you? Don't take it the wrong way, Pierce. I'm just used to dealing with shit myself. Heads up, Pierce. Come on. Sorry, girl. No self-respecting brother plays hacky sack. Why you got the cheerleader calling the shots and not me? Right here. Pierce, I put you in charge of the Ronin. What more do you want? I can do more to help. Do you know how the Sons of Samdi are still moving product after we torch their farm and drug labs? No. Then shut the fuck up. Why you gotta be like that? I'm just saying, don't bitch unless you got a solution. Um, guys... My solution is to do more than wait around for one of the 600 guys Shonda used to fuck to give us a call. There's a bunch of helicopters dropping cargo over Samdi territory. How the hell you know that? Gotta be fucking kidding me. I'll tell you what, Pierce. If you wanna watch me blow up some helicopters, you're more than welcome. Here. I do. <laughs> I took no pleasure in this, my friend. But a price needed to be paid for failure. Don't worry. I only need one ear to hear the whispers of the lower. I know that you will fix this. Of course, General. Do not worry. Mr. Sunshine, come on, man. Where's the shipment? There is no shipment. This isn't funny, man. I couldn't agree more. I don't care how much you jack up the price, just give me the dust! There's nothing for me to sell. You promised that another shipment was coming in. And there was, but the Saints stole it. Fuck you then! Where are they slinging? I'll buy from them! No, you will not. You are upset and want your drugs, this I understand. But there are other solutions. Like what? You all will go and steal the drugs from the saints. Are you fucking crazy? They'll kill us all. 
Perhaps. But if they don't, you will be taken care of for quite some time. We... we get to keep what we take? Oh, yes. Sunshine. Give me the dust. Fine. Where's sunshine? What well, doesn't matter? You're gonna kill me anyway. I'm in no rush. He hangs out at the old meat packing plant. See? Was that so hard? I'm coming too. No. This is total bullshit. You can't just cut me out of the loop. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's one of the perks of running a game. Is Pierce talking shit again? Because I don't care what- This doesn't have anything to do with Pierce. If a strung out DJ almost took you out, a crazy motherfucker like Sunshine will tear you apart. I don't have time to babysit you. You won't have to babysit. Stick to tactics, Shandy. This conversation's over. Stand there, you're gonna work out. I'll get enough cardio running from the cops. Suit yourself. I'm surprised you can run five minutes without coughing up a lung, let alone five miles. I'm full of surprises. Then surprise me. Tell me how we're gonna take out the general. Well, that creep's always riding around in that limo of his, right? Yeah. So I figure the easiest way to find him is to go and tap into the traffic cameras at the police station. I don't know if easiest would be the word I'd use. All right, so it's not the easiest way, but it's the quickest. Besides, now I get to tag along. Are you high? Or do you not remember the part when I told you I wasn't gonna babysit you? Okay, so you're gonna hack into the traffic cameras then? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go, boss. All right, people, here's the deal. We got a truck full of electronic shit that I don't know how to use. I want you guys to help unload the truck and set up shop here. Once we're up and running, I want someone watching these monitors 24-7. The moment someone sees that fucking limo, I want to know about it. Let's get to work. This is gonna work, right? Probably. You had me break into a police station with something that would probably work? Well, you know, I thought it would be good times. Thanks, Shandy. Anytime. Holy shit! I found the limo! Hey, Shawnee, where the hell are ya? What's up? Get up, we gotta get moving. What, you're actually taking me along? I can't get a hold of Pierce. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Now get up, we gotta catch that limo. Is he dead? You got a light. That's it, huh? 
Seeing as we stole their drugs, cornered the lower dust market, took their territory and killed their leader, I'm pretty sure the sons of Samdi are fucked. So, how'd I do? Well, he's dead, and you're not, so I'd say pretty goddamn good. So you think I could take Gat? Not in your fucking life. What about Pierce? Probably not. Veteran child? Seems he's dead. I'm pretty sure you'll kick his ass. You're an asshole. As many of you know, the restoration of Saints Row is a tremendous success, but that was just the beginning of what Old Tor has in mind for Stillwater. This is Shivington. Once a pristine set of tenement homes, this neighborhood has devolved into a dangerous ghetto filled with undesirables such as these. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, ugly buildings, unwashed masses, what the hell is Old Tor thinking? My friends, we are thinking about the future. Picture this, glass towers, clean streets, and no one below the poverty line trying to wash your car. Impossible? For a lesser company, maybe. Now, I'm not here to make idle promises or vague predictions. No offense to all of you politicians out there. No, I'm here to show you how we're going to do it. Now, obviously, before we can remodel Shivington, we need to own the land. So how do we do that? by directing the gangs towards Sunnyvale. Not only are we lowering the number of our detractors, we are lowering the property value as well, which means when we buy the land, the savings get passed on to you, the stockholders. The gangs cripple each other. We direct funds to the Stillwater Police Department, they increase police presence, and pretty soon, all those nasty little gangbangers are gone. Crime stops, property value goes up, and now your population looks like this. Could be going back there. I liked Ultor a lot more when they just made clothes. What you do to piss these guys off? Fuck if I know. Yo, I signed on for killing gangbangers, not fighting some SWAT team from hell. Don't worry about it, Pierce. We'll take care of it. The fuck you mean don't worry about it? These guys are packing space aid shit. Hey, Shondi, you date anyone who worked at a place called the Pyramid? No. For real? All right. You two find out whatever you can about this place. I want to take these assholes apart. Is this the Pyramid? Yeah. Altor's built a huge R&D facility underneath Mount Claflin. Let me guess, they are developing a better bread box. Honestly, they probably are. They're just, you know, developing guns and body armor too. Why is Altor gunning for us? It doesn't matter. Here's the plan. Pierce and Shondi, I want the two of you to hit the streets and take out as much Altor property as you can. If Altor wants to come after us, fine. But we're gonna make it fucking cost them. Gat, you and I are gonna hit the pyramid. What, we don't get to blow shit up in public? Fine. We can do some damage streets, huh? but we've got to be quick. I don't want to give Alto any more of a heads up than we have to. Dane, while your project has been yielding positive results, the board is a little concerned. I don't understand. The Saints are out of control. That was the point. When you budgeted funds for Force Majeure, we didn't realize compromising the Pyramid was what you had in mind. We're dealing with violent criminals. Are you really surprised they might do something, I don't know, violent? The pyramid was not going to last forever. It's better to spin this now when we are the victims than when Channel 6 does an undercover expose. 
Dane, fix the problem. Okay, maybe I'm being too obtuse. Let me try this again. There is no problem. We've had enough of your ego. My ego is what got you this far. Finish off the saints, or being fired is the least of your worries. Is that all? Take care of this, Dane. Of course I will. Oh, says. Don't know. I found it here and it was addressed to you. Looking to crash your party? Thinking about it. Well, your history with boats is pretty solid, so, uh, this seems like a good idea. I think I'm gonna go find Shandy. Good idea. Don't you care who sent it? Nope. But it's probably a trap. Yep. Oh, that's all right, Jamie. I think I'm going to skip it this year. Oh, and Jamie? Yes, sir? Please move my things to my new office and set up a press conference. You were promoted, Mr. Vogel? I'm about to be. You in position, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Just make sure I get to Vogel. As most of you know, the Old Tour board of directors were assassinated the other night, and while we at Old Tour would like to take the time to mourn their passing, sadly that's a luxury we don't have. The corporate office has named me chairman, and I wanted to personally let you all know, not only will business continue as usual, but we will be taking even greater strides forward. Monica Hughes has graciously greenlit a project that's very dear to us at Old Tour, the revitalization of Shivington. In the coming days... He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Oh, oh, <laughs> Mr. Vogel, come with us. not be too hasty here. You're upset, you're frustrated, and you've got a gun, which you know I'd really like it if you would put that away. You should have thought of that before you sent a team to wipe out my gang. I tried telling the board that going after the Saints was a big mistake. They should have listened to you. Believe me, right now I am agreeing with you 100%, but you have to look at the positives. You're alive, they're dead, and you have the Saints' number one fan running all- <laughs> We missed it? Told ya. Now pay up. Where the fuck were you guys? Traffic. What? He's not joking. The roads have been blocked off. 
You see Gat out there? Oh, he's fine. He's still out there killing cops. Figures. What is it? It's done. Time to pull out of there. You sure? Get the fuck off of me! I mean, I'm not running out of ammo anytime soon. I'm sure. See you back home. Later. Who you calling now? Our ride. This is our city. We do whatever the fuck we want to. 